thanks to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. This last year has been challenging. Now, more than ever, we need to prioritize our mental health. If there's something interfering with your happiness or preventing you from achieving your goals, I suggest BetterHelp. BetterHelp assesses your needs and matches you with your own licensed professional therapist. It's not a crisis line, it's not self-help. It's professional counseling done securely online. You can log into your account anytime and send a message to your counselor. You'll get timely and thoughtful responses. Plus, you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions so you won't ever have to sit in a waiting room. There is a broad range of expertise in BetterHelp's 15,000 plus counselor network, which may not be locally available in many areas. The service is accessible worldwide and for a lot cheaper than you pay for traditional offline counseling. Plus, financial aid is available. You can start communicating within 48 hours. BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches, so they make it easy and free of charge to change counselors if needed. BetterHelp wants you to start living a happier life today. You guys get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash besteverfood. Visit betterhelp.com slash besteverfood. That's better H-E-L-P. And join the over 1 million people taking charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. Now, on to the show. This is a very delicate food item. Whoa. It's the foie gras of the sea. Do you want to take a sniff? In today's modern meat-filled world, some body parts get overlooked. Oh, that pig didn't brush his tongue. This series is an homage to the offcuts. Oh, 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 body parts that in the West might get thrown in the trash. Why is there liquid in here? What do you think that is? Last time, we discovered succulent skin. It's like gummy bears, but pork flavor. Ooh, that's the best kind of gummy bear. And now, it's all about the liver. In the 80s, Betty Crocker made a huge campaign about liver and onion. I'm not that old, sorry. How old are you? 22. All right. <laughs> I'm 21. Today, we're on a hero's mission, showing that these underrated animal parts have the power to rise above. The liver, it's probably one of the most nutritious organs there is in any body. And delicious. Four foods, four chefs, cooking up dishes that are not just tolerable, but crave-worthy and delicious. So how will they do it? Let's find out. You ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Today, we're starting out in Vung Tau, a coastal city in Vietnam famous for its fresh cod seafood. Chef, first of all, nice to meet you. Uh, is it okay if I move these? Yes. Yeah. Do you just tell them to say yes? Yes. <laughs> At this restaurant, they specialize in one very distinguished sea creature. It's a flat fish. It looks like alien, right? I mean... Have you ever had stingray? I've never had stingray in my life. I don't have any idea what it tastes like. Well, after we leave today, you'll still have no idea. Because today we're going to be trying... Liver. Well, yeah. The liver. The liver. Liver. Great. What is it that people like about this dish in particular? Did you know that Vung Tao is the number one destination for Stingray? The reason why people flock to his restaurant because they take such good care of the product. Stingray livers can weigh up to 10% of their total body weight. <laughs> All that area is for the it's liver. It's dripping, dude. Okay, I'll put it away. <laughs> this Stingray comes in at 15 pounds. That means we're looking at a pound and a half of liver. That is a lot. It almost looks like a foie gras. It's big, it's flat, it has some seafood essence to it for sure. Mm. The liver is cleaned and sliced into more manageable pieces. It's seasoned with MSG, sugar, and pepper. Add fresh green peppers and julienne ginger on top. All that gets steamed for 10 minutes. When I was in Japan, I had the monkfish liver. <laughs> Whoa! That was awesome. That's phenomenal. This, it looks similar in some ways, so we'll see how it is. Let's eat. Bakdai. Pak Thai. What's Pak Thai mean? Your love. Calvin, I am happy because we're trying something really cool, especially for our first location. Ooh. That is potent. Get in there with your spoon. Is that cooked all the way through? I don't know. Do you want to lose weight? Okay, let's eat it. That is delicious. I love these flavors. This is like waking up in the morning and just finding a stingray, cutting out the liver and biting into it. Why aren't you sharing my enthusiasm? Listen, I respect the chef. I respect this animal. Sure. That is one of the most disgusting things I've ever bit on in my life. It's like all the worst flavors combined. Fishy, bile, it's like acid. I oh love these God. flavors. I need like, uh... Stingray liver is also used in European cuisine. Do you think by putting it on a cracker, it'll taste better? I do not. For some, it's the most prized part of the stingray. So I guess some people like it. Mm. And I? Oh, there it is again. Oh. I don't like it. Well, I love it. At least not yet. Let's try it in a hot pot. Hot 
hot pot. Hot pot. I think by boiling it, a lot of the flavors are going to dissipate. Right. So you might be able to mask it a little bit. I hope no. Oh. So much more softer, much more delicate. I definitely think that the flavors have washed out into the hot pot broth. And can I say something? Of course. This one? Not for me. I found my limit. I've eaten a lot of wacky, zany things. Yeah. And this is one step too far. I can't handle it. I can't handle the consistency, the, <laughs> the kind of pasty gooiness of it. And it's like really earthy and- Which I love. We finally found something that grosses you out. This is really out there, man. But can I tell you what I do like? What's that? The stingray meat. This is dessert for me. Cheers. Cheers. That's delicious. A uh hot. -huh. We're heading back to the bustling city of Saigon for a livery lunch. And Neil, put her there. Nice to meet you, Sonny. Here at Union Jack's, they're serving up an old, old traditional treat from the United Kingdom. Let's call it a Welsh meatball. First of all, what creature does this liver come from? Traditionally, it's made from pork. You may be shocked, but pork liver actually has little fat. Plus, compared to a pork chop, it's much more nutritious, as organ meats usually are. The meatball is one of the original sort of fast foods, designed basically a working class for a healthy, nutritional meal. The Welsh meatball is made with a base of minced pork belly and liver cubes, a blend of liver and onion, then more onion. These days, people are less likely to eat these parts. Do you think they're missing out? Oh, definitely. I grew up eating liver onions and bacon, stuffed lamb's heart. Stuffed lamb heart. That sounds great. Mm. I want to taste your childhood. <laughs> Season it with thyme, nutmeg, parsley, sage, salt, pepper, garlic, and ginger. Mix in breadcrumbs, too. Shape by hand to make perfectly round meatballs that are ready to hit the oven. So you've already made a bunch of meatballs here. I mean, this is... Um, there's so many here. Did you count them yet? I haven't counted them yet. Uh, we need to know how many there are for the show. Do you have any idea? <sighs> Send in so ideal. You got my body in a cold sweat. Thank God he's here. We need help, man. There's all these meatballs, but we don't know how to count them. Can you help us? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bravo. Bravo. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You've done your work yeah, here. Thank you. Such a good job. Thank you. Wait a second. It's 11 meatballs. But he counted 55. Huh. It sounded beautiful, but that was not accurate. Not at all. Hmm. All right. The Welsh meatball is bathed in onion gravy, then baked for five minutes. Finally, it's served with mashed potatoes, green peas, and even more gravy on top. Calvin, coming off that stingray high, does your tongue still work? Yes. All right, so I think first we should try some of this sumptuous gravy. Mmm. Classic. You ready to cut into the meatball? Yeah. So it's pretty tender. I didn't know what to expect. When you open it up, you can see there's little different layers, like sections of ground up fat, not a huge amount of liver. Here we go. Oh. Oh. I'm in love. All the flavors here are just of hope. The pork really stands out. There's a little bit of mineraliness from the liver in there. It really does remind me of a meatloaf. Yeah. The texture, it's very loafy. We didn't cheers. Mmm. You love this, don't you? I kind of feel like I'm cheating. Does this really count for this show? It does contain liver, but the way he's cooked it up, he's hidden it really well. Yeah, you can't even tell. And then the gravy on top is just like the great social lubricant between the food items. The social lubricant? I'm just gonna do one trifecta here. Peas, potato, and then some of that liver meatball. Mm. 
This is a winner. I'm ready to venture out and try something a little bit more insane than this meatball. All right, well, let's do it. Let's go. Open for only two years, this place is serving a one-of-a-kind specialty that hails from Vietnam's Central Highlands. Meet the owner, Mr. Ya. Am I the first YouTuber to come here? Daniel. It's been a lot? Yeah. <laughs> what type of food you serve here? They specialize in one dish called Ban Ut Long Ya. A steamed rice sheet dish with a variety of add-ons, including plenty of these chicken livers. Oh, it's delightful. You've had this before. I have. Do you think it'll be better than stingray? I think you'll love it just as much as love stingray. The livers are simply boiled with lemongrass, ginger, and salt. This is so much liver. How many livers would you say are in here? He's estimating 60 pieces in here. So nobody counted the exact number. Nobody counted yet. This is just an estimation. It's just this show, we pride ourselves on numbers, on accuracy, on proper information. We have to know exactly how many livers are in here. Uh, I have an idea. I have a friend who can help with this. Let me call really quick. Hey, we need your help. You got my body in a cold sweat. Oh, yes. Thank God you're here. You Look at this, man. There's so many chicken livers, but we don't know how many. Can you help Can us count? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You said around 60. Yeah, don't worry. 50, 51. 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so 60. Oh, 60. One million, one million and one, one million and two, one million and three, one million and four, one million and five, one million and six. One million and seven, one million and eight, one million and nine, one million and ten, and more. One million and eleven. He got a million. He counted sixty. I mean, uh, get it together, please. I'm gonna go with this guy. He's got over a million followers, so. The liver, together with gizzards and chicken meat, is drenched with a diluted fish sauce. Add on top of the steamed rice sheets, then finish it up with fried shallots and two very impressive soft-boiled unlaid chicken eggs. I mean, what the heck? I've never seen that ever. It's like something you would expect to see on a fine dining menu. It's rare. It's cooked with skill and proper technique. Yes. It looks actually gorgeous. Let's have it. Cheers. Mmm. It is wow. so soaky and smooth. Mm. Creamy, yummy, delicious. On the side, fish sauce. Fish sauce. Get everything nice and wet. Mix these bad boys up. A little bit of chicken liver. Let's go. Mmm. 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 Wow, what a mix of flavors. The herbs, the fish sauce, and that liver is very strong. It's like a pate. That's oh, what pate is made up. Really? Yes. <laughs> I'm going gizzard. I'm going chicken. Mmm. Mmm. This whole dish, it's so fresh. Everything is being used from nose to tail, but the chicken and the liver really stand out for me. As far as using liver in a clever way, what really brings it together for me are these eggs on top, extremely delicious and, and skillfully made. It's wild that you could get something like this for two dollars. Three locations, three different livers, and three dramatically different experiences. Now, we've got one left. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You want my number, boy? You better make it. Our livery adventure has led us to this man, Chef Sakal of the Corto Restaurant. Chef, yeah. let me tell you, in this video, we're just eating animal livers. It started a little bit rough. This is uh, the wild, wild east. I loved it, but now we're here. As a Cambodian Frenchman, Sakal embodies both Eastern and Western gastronomy in his culinary stylings. I'm a Cambodian guy, but when I'm learning France, the technique of French cuisine. And he knows taco technique. It's different. It's different. <laughs> <laughs> What's really interesting to me about liver is it has such a range. It can be just boiled up, mashed, or it can be something that costs hundreds of dollars per pound, like what we're trying today. <laughs> no, foie gras. <laughs> foie gras. That's what I said. 
<laughs> Foie gras is the liver of a goose or duck that's been fattened through a force feeding process. If you ever see a normal liver from a duck, it's about 10% of that size. Really? Dude, this is like the size of your liver. They force feed them and that's why it's controversial and everybody has to draw their own line somewhere. And for me, my line etches right around that and that stays in my diet. Wonderful. So Paul's recipe for the foie gras is a work of art. First, a pigeon is filleted. It's seasoned with salt and pepper. A layer of filling is made with diced green apples, spinach, raisin, sautéed mushroom paste, truffle oil, truffle paste, and pine seed. Before we continue, there is something really important we have to do. We need to know how many foie gras do you have on here? What do you want? What do you mean? How many? Uh... I just feel like we should confirm with somebody. You got my body in a Look, Sunny, there's one here. So we don't need help? We got this. We got this. We got this. One foie gras. The foie gras is cut into thick slices and pan seared. Is it hard to mess this up? Yeah, it's difficult to cook. If you let outside like that long time, you overcook, it's not good. Now, the assembly. Start with a base of pastry dough. Add the filling, pigeon, and the foie gras. Next, a drumstick, then more filling, then roll it up. Apply an egg wash, and last, send it to bake for about eight minutes. This wraps up our whole series. This is the 32nd dish. The grand finale is upon us and is starting now. now. Take a look down. Wow. Wow. That's beautiful. Look at mine. Look at oh, mine. They look quite similar. So we have foie gras. Here, you put it in the pastry. On top of it, what is that? That's a pigeon breast. Ooh. Above the breast? Duxel, I believe. Guys, actual culinary school, Applebee's waiter for three years. That's. Right? Oh, the puff pastry is so light and airy. This, this is so rich. I don't think the rich people actually smell their food that way. <laughs> Let's did. go big. Let's go big. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. Wow. Oh my God. Don't you dare swallow. Get that in your mouth and feel it. Isn't it a symphony? It's so remarkable. Yeah. That's um, the best of everything together. The creaminess of the liver is filling my mouth with a smooth tidal wave of flavor that tells me everything's gonna be okay. Don't worry about the future. You have some really good words. Watch me in the water. This speaks wonders of how talented the chef really is. You know, he had to envision it. What pairs well with the foie gras? It could be anything. And he chose pigeon breast, French cuisine, is superior. It's hard to portray French cuisine in video sometimes because it's less flashy and more technical. And it's just so neat where people would rather see just huge cauldrons of boiling broth on the street because it's so visceral and energy packed. Where the kitchen, maybe it lacks some energy. But I think I'd like to try a lot more. Should we do a series on only French cuisine? Should me and you go to France? <laughs> <laughs> Today, we ate at four different restaurants. Calvin, I want to know which food was your favorite. I know you didn't like the stingray, but everything with liver today was delicious. I really can't pick my favorite one. What about you? For me, I must go location four, duck foie gras. Okay. Every bite was, oh, okay. It was so good. Well, Sunny, I got to say, this is the last episode we're being on together, and I can't give you a handshake. I need a man hug. Bye. Bye. Taxi! Best Ever Food Review Show is a small team of independent creators, and everything we do here works because of you guys. Click the link in our description to join our Patreon and receive exclusive benefits. A piece. This is the last dish of this series. I can't express any more gratitude to you, Le Corto, for hosting us, for having this dish. We're probably gonna have to cut that for time. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> Let me call my friend. Scott, you kid? I'll take my back. Hey, we need your help and then take a right, and then straight, and then straight, and then take another left, and then go straight. Yeah, and then I'm wearing a black shirt, and then come sit next to me, sit down, yep. Okay, perfect. That is so much! I know, I love this! I are can't you, even believe it's, you're, it's, are you real? Touch me a little closer. <laughs> I think I smell truffle too. Did you go to some like etiquette I'm like school? A I'm like a golden retriever over here. <laughs> <laughs> I found truffle. Okay, là em bán hơn điện hơn như vậy trong một ngày có thể triệu không? Ten million. Ten says. Ten million. Guys, that is the show. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you next time. A, a piece. Thank you. I love you. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh.
Ooh, that's icy. I thought that really in the gizzard area. 